my country lay within a vast desert. When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my lands, searing the world. And when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our homes. No matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing, death. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. I coveted that wind, I suppose. It can only be fate that here I would again gather the three with the crests, that I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder, that when the power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. The power of the gods, the Triforce, he who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Already, the Crest of Wisdom is mine. All that remains. I will not kill you. I merely have need of the power that dwells within you. Now, let us put an end to that which binds us together. Gods, hear what I desire. Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more. Let them burn forth. Give Hyrule to me! He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. That is what you said, is it not, Ganondorf? Gods of the Triforce, hear what I desire! Hope! I desire hope for these children! Give them a future! Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule! Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world! And let our destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf, may you drown with Hyrule. This 
is foolishness. A future for you? What are you laughing at, Ganondorf? You're insane! Link, I'm sorry I overslept. I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. We must return to the world above. Back to our ocean. Very well then. Allow me to show you. Your future. Yes. Allow me to show you just what hope you have. See how much your precious Triforce is worth. And alright guys, this is it. The final encounter with Ganondorf. And I'll use this bow to cover you. Attack as best as you can. Okay. So, Ganon is probably the most formidable opponent in the entire game. He's a very skilled swordsman. He will block most of our attacks and does actually pretty good damage. One swipe and one combo can actually do a lot of damage. Each attack does a single heart, which in this game is actually pretty scary. But we have an ace in the hole, which is Zelda, and I need to really not do that if I want to beat him. But yes, when you're prompted to do a counterattack, do it, and he will get a bunch of hits in. Usually, I mean, you probably get four attacks off. He's starting to dodge Zelda, which is getting very annoying. So let's do another counter attack and get. Well, that was almost four hits, but I think we only got three. And yes, I like to back up a lot and shield. I find this is one of the best battles to actually shield in. But eventually, he will get hit by one of Zelda's arrows, fly over to her, and I don't know why Link is standing still, and basically knock her out, which is pretty sick and bad. <laughs> so now we will not have the light arrows to momentarily stun Ganondorf. When he does that attack, usually he will have a chance to counter him, but I don't know why it didn't work that time. Like, that is what we're supposed to do, what I apparently missed, which is really, really disheartening. But this time, we're definitely gonna miss again. Okay, I really need to hit that attack if I want to beat Ganon. Oh boy, we're taking a whole crap ton of damage. Let's hit him on the back, though, and... Okay, great. So far, we're doing pretty decent. We need Zelda basically to wake up, and okay, this next string of attacks should prompt the cutscene for her to wake up. There she goes. And alright, Zelda's back up. Now, this is the hardest part of the battle. Ganon cannot be hit at this point. Every attack we try and do at him, he will either dodge or just completely block. Now, what you have to do here is you have to go find Zelda and get close to her. Then you have to talk to her and she'll say, Link, you have to distract him. Are you ready? I'll aim for you. And use your shield, you got it? Alright. So now what we have to do is, she is going to shoot a arrow off our shield. And then we're going to deliver the finishing blow to Ganondorf. The wind. It's... My children, listen to me. I have lived regretting the past, and I have faced those regrets. May I, if only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. I have lived bound to Hyrule. In that sense, I was the same as Ganondorf. But you... I want you to live for the future. There may be nothing left for you, but despite that, you must look forward and walk a path of hope, trusting that it will sustain you when darkness comes. Farewell. This is the only world your ancestors were able to leave you.
please forgive us. Wait, you could, you could come with us. Yes, of course, we have a ship, we can find it, we'll find it. The land will be in the next Hyrule. So... Child, that land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land. scatter the seeds of the future. And that's it, guys. That's The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Hmm. We finished the game. We completed all of it. I think we visited every single island, except maybe Shark Island and a couple other places. We got all the heart pieces. We got all the treasure charts. We got all the treasure. And we got all the items. So, all in all, this is a completed project. And that is one of the best feelings as a Let's Player. Just working, you know, a month or so on just one game. And then it all wraps up, the story ends, and then we move on. But The Wind Waker is a game that really probably won't move on. It's kind of always going to be a part of me, personally. It really had a gigantic impact on me as a child, and I'm apparently not alone. A lot of people love this game, which used to be one of the most critically panned games, but now I think people are unanimous in saying it's probably one of the best ever. I don't know, I definitely think so. Just reinventing the whole way we think about exploring and going on an adventure. We're sailing this gigantic sea and doing all these crazy things. Meeting all these crazy people and, you know, different races. It's awesome, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I guess at this point I'm sort of stating the obvious. Maybe a little bit, you know. <laughs> but yeah. I guess at a young age it had a gigantic impact on me. I didn't even say half the stories I had. Just all the stupid things I did in this game as a kid, because, I don't know, I wanted to get at least a little bit of information out there. It's just not my own personal memory database, you know what I mean? I don't know. Gosh, this song is amazing. I think they changed the credit sequence, didn't they? It used to be a bunch of bubbles, yeah. It's actually the first time I've seen the credit sequence anyways, in medley. 
Yeah, Medley's back. And Makar, they're gonna go visit their friends and family. Well, does Makar even have family? I mean, I think they're all just friends. Actually, no, I think it's the other way around. He's basically related to everybody because they never aged, but yeah. They decide to stop praying since they really don't need to anymore since Ganon has been banished. For news, how long? Yeah. I think it's a really good ending, you know? They gotta come back and, you know, it's not very sad. Wind Waker definitely has a pretty happy ending, but we're technically not done. There's still one more little cutscene after this, and gosh. The Wind Waker is just such an amazing game. It's like it's just everything mixed together the graphics, the story, the theme. It's made almost a perfect game. <laughs> you know, man. Playing the HD version, though, was definitely awesome, too, for me to experience, because gosh, I remember my childhood. I was not a very. Uh, wealthy kid, that's for sure. <laughs> I got like one game a year, and well, I was pretty stinking happy to get this one. Hmm. Just pretty, I'm pretty happy now, though. I'm able to experience this thing, and without this game, I don't know if I'd ever meet half you guys. As I said before, this was basically my origin story. This is the first YouTube video I ever saw, and it really inspired me to do what I do today. And man, here we are now, three years later. Almost 30-something Let's Plays fully completed. I don't want to slow down, that's for sure. We're going to keep going faster than ever, honestly. Man. <laughs> Gosh. I really like how the bubbles actually, like, basically tell the whole story of the game just in a couple pictures. Just going around, meeting all these people. Events are changing. The Gorons! The Gorons, man! The trading sequence! How could we forget about that? All the fairies. All the, well, the great fairy. Pretty helpful. All the sea monsters, which this time around were really not that intimidating. I think only died to the big octo once. All the other enemies are pretty forgettable. Gosh. Oh, and then the last two temples. And those last two temples are really great, huh? No, every temple is really great. I said at some point I really don't like the Forest Haven, but I look back on it. The Forest Haven is awesome. All the dungeons are awesome. It doesn't matter that there's only a couple, you know? If you think about it, the Great Sea is like the biggest dungeon of all and the biggest puzzle because, well, once you know where things are prior, it's kind of like this giant quest to find everything. I know it was for me, I didn't have any computers, I had to just ask friends around in school and basically just find things myself, you know? <laughs> but I've said that like a billion times. Something I've also said a billion times, thank you all so much for watching these videos. It truly means the world to me. I guess I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play, where hopefully we have an even grander adventure than this one. So once again, see you guys in the next Let's Play. Bye. Anchors away. Hold the tiller steady. As for our destination, the wind will guide us.